This right here is the Samsung S23 Ultra, and I've been using it for quite some time now, and I learned a lot of interesting things that this phone can do. Everything from this stylus pen as a fine example, if you actually launch the native camera app, and you push this button, it will actually take a photo. In addition to that, a double tap will switch from the front and the rear camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you all the amazing tips and tricks that I've learned that this device can do, so you can really utilize this device at its full potential. Let's go ahead and get started. started. And for somebody who listens to a lot of speaker audio out of your device, you'll be glad to know you can actually amplify the audio to go even higher than this little slider by tapping the three dot icon right here, go into the setting icon, and right above here, tap on these three icons where it says media control, customize the volume limit, and if you notice, it allows you to get make it even louder than ever before. Keep in mind, this will draw more energy though. Now your phone's lock screen. If you actually long press and go on wallpaper and style and you tap on the lock page, you can actually create a custom custom message right here or add your, your contact information in case your phone gets stolen. So here you can put your, your, your name or something like that as an example. And now you will have your custom message right there on your lock page. Now, if you'd like to know how to customize your notifications even more, if you actually go into your settings real quick, and go into notifications and tap on notification pop you can either have details or brief and we tap edge style here you have the capability to select different edge display notifications you would like to see so whenever you see a notification pop up it'll illuminate the edges on your display as well as give you the summary on the message right there on your display with the cool art style to really get your attention and you can actually customize this to your own liking as well so red will definitely be an eye catcher in terms of making sure you don't miss a notification. Now this edge bar right here on the side of your display, you can actually change the color to match that edge notification as well. So if we go into our settings and quickly scroll into display and go into edge panel, tap on here and go into handle, and you can actually select a different color you want your handle to look like, and you can actually allow it to be less transparent or more transparent all personal preference, but that's how you can actually go ahead and customize the edge panel to your own personal preference to really match with your theme. Now other hidden features that the side button can actually do is you can actually program it so it could toggle the, for a flashlight. Just simply go into the power off mode, tap on side key setting, and where it says quick launch camera, you could switch it to launch the flashlight. So now if we actually go ahead and double tap, it actually turns on our flashlight. And you can make that flashlight even brighter. Well, I'll show you how in a little bit. Now, this being the S23 Ultra, we do have a larger display, which actually allows us to multitask. So if we actually go into our settings real quick and look for labs, go in here in advanced features, tap on lab one more time, and where it says swipe for split screen. Now with this mode enabled, and we go ahead and launch an app, and we use two fingers and you slide up, you can launch another app so you can literally multitask and yes you can actually adjust the size of the two apps you have running at the same time and to close just do that or slide up to close the other app now since we have the phone call you can actually change the phone call animation or wallpaper by tapping the three dot icon right here and go into settings and where it says call background here you can actually customize the call background to your own personal wallpaper or whatever you like as well as totally rearrange the layout if you wish as well. And if you tap plus, you can actually add from gallery. Now when gaming, if you actually slide this little icon right here and you tap the game icon and you go into settings, if your device is plugged in, go ahead and look for a USB option right here. Mine doesn't have this for some reason, but some S23 Ultra models have this, where you can actually bypass the USB cable and prevent it from charging your, your Samsung phone and just powering the GPU and CPU so your phone doesn't overheat when you're gaming. I don't know why mine doesn't have that, but look for that. Majority of people do to have this. I'm just unfortunate not to have that. Now, if you ever take a screenshot, you, you use these two buttons, of course, and it'll take a screenshot just like so. But if you notice on top here, when you view back that screenshot, your cellular, Wi-Fi, and all those other status icons are above here. You can actually remove this. So if you actually slide down and go tap the gear icon to get access to your system settings, and we go ahead and type in screenshot, and we tap on the screenshot and screen record, enabled hide status and navigation bar. So now next time when you take a screenshot, so now if we actually go ahead and take a screenshot and view that screenshot, the stats icons are now gone. Now, every Samsung phone has the SOS toggle. Hopefully, you don't have to use this, but if you actually have to use it to get a hold of Emergency SOS, if you tap this button five times, 
it will take you to SOS mode and to cancel just slide your finger out. Now when it comes to photos, the S23 is jam packed with a lot of software abilities where if you actually tap on an icon or a subject, a person or an animal, you can actually quickly crop your images like so as well as copy and paste it or save it as an image and it'll be saved as a PNG. But if you click on an image that looks too pixelated, it can actually use AI to enhance the image resolution. By going into the three icon right here and tap on remaster picture, let the Android phone do its thing, and it'll improve a pixelated picture from no longer looking so pixelated as you can see right here. And once you're satisfied, you can just save. And then when it comes to taking photos, if you launch a camera app, if you tap the gear icon and you scroll down, you can actually select the grid lines for the rule of thirds. I love having this on, so I make sure when I take a photo, the subject's actually in the center, making the whole image look pleasant. But if there's an object that's in the picture and you don't want it to be there, you can always use object erase. They can have access by tapping the little pencil icon and tap the three dot icon right here, go on object eraser, and just go ahead and circle the object you want to erase, tap erase, let the software do its thing, and now it's gone without using Photoshop. Although it did lift a shadow right here, but you can also erase that. Bam. Now the S Pen, this thing has some amazing tricks. Once your cell phone's already unlocked, if you actually take out your S Pen and tap the only button that's right here, and long press, it will actually unlock your device. But for some reason, we have to unlock it first to have access to this. So trying it again. Now that I manually unlocked, confirmed I'm nearby, I could always unlock my cell phone was the S Pen and to enable this feature just go into your settings real quick and go into advanced features tap on S Pen go into more S Pen settings enable S Pen unlocked and now you have the capability to unlock your device with just your S Pen now if you're actually using the camera app and you have your S Pen out if you tap on the button it will actually take a photo a double tap as you witness will actually quickly take you to the front facing camera and vice versa and if you long code it'll actually do a photo burst. But in addition to that, you could take advantage of the uh, gesture controls that the S Pen has, whereby tapping and holding and moving it up and down like a wand allows you to do cool things. So take advantage of the gestures because it doesn't just work for the camera app, it works on other apps and you can actually use it to like navigate other things too. Now that's enough about the S Pen. Let's talk about the Control Center. As the Control Center actually has a lot of amazing things you could do. One of which is if you long press on the flash button, you have five different levels to select from, which will, of course, drain the battery a bit more, but definitely illuminate a much brighter shine. But if you need to temporarily mute your device and allow it to automatically unmute itself, if you tap the volume icon and you long press here, it will take you to the mute section and you can actually enable temporary mute so you can actually allow your device to be muted for an hour, two, three, or customize. So you don't have to worry about forgetting to unmute your device. And if you like the experience, the best sound quality these speakers can offer. If you actually go in right here, you can find Adobe Atmos. You may have to tap the plus icon to find Adobe Atmos right here to add. But I highly recommend click and dragging Adobe Atmos to your device to give you the best sounding audio experience when it comes to watching your favorite YouTube videos or movies on your device. You can also find wireless power charging. When this is enabled, you could charge your friend's phone. When this is enabled, you can actually wireless charge your friend's phone or if you have like wireless earbuds, you can actually center it and it'll actually begin charging off the batteries that this phone has. In addition to that, if you like to auto rotate the main screen, if you have it mounted to your car's like phone mount, if you long press the auto rotation, you can also enable it so it does this, the auto home rotation for the home page as well. Now, if you're in a situation where you have to like bring down the dimness level of your phone even dimmer than ever before, you have the total freedom to do so if you actually go into the plus icon right here and look for extra dim. If you click and drag this and add it right here and you enable extra dim, it's even dimmer than ever before. This is perfect for literally pitch dark situations, especially like in a the movie theater. If you're switching from iOS to Android, you may not be fully familiar with this icon. I always prefer reversing back to the touch gestures. If you like to do this, go into settings, go into display, tap on navigation bar, and select swipe gesture. So now a swipe up will actually take you to your homepage, and a slide to the left, to right, 
will go back to your previously open app and if a long press it will open up your app switcher. This is the one I prefer using. And of course on the app switcher you have the full capability to close all apps. And if you like to hide some of these apps you have right here you can actually do that as well by long pressing and go into the settings and select hide apps on home page and here you can select the apps you don't want to see on the main page. So that's how you can actually hide some apps if you want to. Then on the always on display you can actually add images as well by going into display which you can actually change the resolution right here to your own personal preference hd plus is ideal for anybody who doesn't really care about the clearest image qualities if you're not watching like videos and stuff like that this is a good resolution but if you want the maximum high quality possible you can maximize it right here it will draw more energy but back to the previous thing about adding image to your always on display it's actually located on your lock page section right here on the lock screen Tap on show always right here on the always on display and click on clock style and where it says image here is you can actually select an image from the gallery. Tap done and now on your always on display you have an image right there and there you guys have it now you know all the hidden features and some cool tips and tricks that this device can do so you can really get the most out of this device. But real quick, make sure you hit that like button as well as get subscribed because I do do giveaways on this channel. One of which is the chance to win a $500 Insta 360 camera. To find out how you can enter, it's free. Just go ahead and watch that video right there and best of luck. Other than that, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch everyone in the next one. See ya.